Hi everyone, today is June the 16th, 2013 and I just want to make a quick video showing you guys the update of my uh, garden. I made a video on May the 26th, 2013 so this is a part 2 and this is an update on that video uh, but before we do so, I just want to uh, say uh, Happy Father Day to all the dad and, uh, and all the grandpa here and around the world Happy Father Day! Alright, let's get it started. So here is the update on um, the uh, cucumber. Uh, if you want to see uh, the older uh, video, the one I made on May the 26th, and uh, you can see the comparison uh, of uh, today video, which is June the uh, 16, 2013. Um, so let's zoom in. Uh, in the back is the uh, Japanese cucumber. Uh, they produce pretty good for me lately. Uh, I believe last week we pulled about six uh, Japanese cucumber. So I have maybe a couple left. Uh, so let me show you what they look like. Uh, but what happened is uh, these ones are very small because uh, the big one we pulled them uh, last week already, so I think I have a couple small ones. So let, let me just show you what they look like. So here is the Japanese cucumber. And this one is a baby one. I don't know if you can see it. And it's right there. Woohoo! Yay! Yeah, this one is not ready to be eaten yet. Uh, probably like another week or so. Uh, you can eat it, but uh, we could just kind of let them grow a little bit bigger. Okay, so there is that Japanese cucumber. And I'm uh, moving right along. Down here is the uh, Persian. I'm sorry, it's not Persian, it's uh, the Armenian cucumber. Yeah, so here are the Armenian cucumber. And um, they uh, grow a little bit slower than I expected. Um, so, but here is the baby of the Armenian cucumber. Yay, here's one right here. Oops, um, yeah, tiny little guy, cute. Um, yeah, they, they grow pretty big. They grow up to uh, maybe, uh, if you wanted to, they can grow up to uh, three feet long, or round, or kind of like a moon shape. But uh, they get pretty big. And then in the back here, uh, we got another one here. So these are the baby Armenian cucumber. La la. Okay. Next is the Japanese tomato. Uh, they're doing pretty good. They are. I kind of tied them to my uh, stick, and they, are, I believe, are over three feet tall now. Yeah, doing awesome. And uh, yes, they do have tomato on them, but not ready to be eaten yet. They're green tomato right now. So probably like another month, month and a half or so, depending on the weather, then they'll be ready. But right now they're not. So here is a cluster of the um, Japanese tomato. And uh, I've been checking to see if, um, if there's any uh, rotten end. Uh, uh, but I did put a, uh, a good amount of calcium to prevent uh, rotten end. Rotten end, rotten end is a common problem uh, uh, for tomato. If you don't be careful, uh, what it is is like at the end of the tips. If it doesn't have enough calcium, it turn out brown, uh, dark brown, and have a little black, and then it still look really ugly. You can still eat it, but. Uh, and then if it get worse, a uh, half tomato would turn all kind of like dark brown. Yeah, so pretty nasty. It's a common problem with a tomato uh, plant. So um, so far they're doing good. No tomato on end. There we go. Let me zoom out. And then we're gonna move to the next ray bed, which is also the uh, Japanese tomato and uh, there they are and uh, let me show you another cluster 
Up D. Tomato. Yeah, there it is. Uh huh. La la la. Oh yeah, look at this guy right here. You can see there's a a line right there. This is what happened when uh doing the uh uh, uh pollination uh process when the flower uh starting to uh turn into the little baby green tomato and uh you know I didn't get good uh pollination so I got that little line. But it's okay, it's still be it's still be good eating. Um, they're doing pretty good. There's another cluster of my Japanese tomato. So let me back out. Yep, they're doing pretty good. Um, I put a net over it. So, uh, so far, no tomato hornworm. So that's good. You know that nasty uh, uh, hornworm, and you don't keep an eye on them, they'll eat your whole tomato plant. Yeah, those nasty hornworm, they're pretty long. They can grow up to like a foot long. Yeah, they're like a rat size. And they are nasty. So, uh, so far, no hornworm. I've been checking uh, every other day or so for hornworm. But so far, so far, so good. Okay, moving right along. Um, it's my edamame. Race bed, yay! They're doing pretty good. If you um, check back on my video, the one I made in May the 5th of 2013, I kind of show you guys how to grow edamame, and uh, I put the ceiling down, and this is what they look like since May the 5th, 2013, and they're doing pretty good. As you can see. Um, the one on the right is starting to catch up with the one on the left because um, the one on the uh, right side didn't get enough sun due to uh, shade out by the uh, tomato. But they're catching up right now. Soon they'll all about the same height. And yes, they do have some edamame pot. So let me zoom in to show you what the pot baby edamame pot look like. Do, do, do. Let me see here. La, la, la. Oh, there is some over here. Of course I have to get in there. Oof. There it is. See? La, nice. Oh, there's a little bug. I gotta kind of get that thing out of the way. Yep, so they're doing pretty good, pretty healthy. And um, not ready to be eat yet, eaten yet. Uh, probably another month, month and a half or so. But there it is, my edamame pod. Yay! I got like what, five or six of them in there. So I'll let you guys see what they look like at a premature age. They'll get bigger, and the sea get bigger. The bean will get bigger. Okay, so the edamame is doing awesome. Yep, moving right along. Here yeah. is my lemon cucumber. Um, the video I showed you earlier, if you see it, the one on May the 26th, I have some white radish in the front. I have pulled them because it's too hot now and they're ready to be pulled, so I pull them all. Make some delicious, nice soup. Yep, white radish soup. Yeah, really good, tasty. But the cucumber is doing great. They keep giving me cucumber consistently. I've been picking the cucumber. Let me zoom in closely so you can see a cluster of the cu lemon cucumber. Yay! There they are. Yeah. There it is. Um, there's like a cluster of four of them over here. As you can see, um, this one is ready to be eat, eaten. It, it's starting to turn a little, ya little light yellow. And that's when you know it's ready to be eaten. You don't want them to turn yellow because then 
the, the skin or the texture is going to be very uh, rough and woody so uh, you want to pick them as soon as they turn light yellow so this guy is ready to be eaten yeah I'm probably going to pick them later and eat it after this video and uh, let me show you one that are uh, kind of like overdue let me see if I still have it oh right here yeah this one is like I don't know if you can see it. The always leaf is blocking the way. Yeah. yeah, this one right here is um uh yeah this one uh, is like super yellow. Uh it's gonna be a little sourly taste. Uh but the skin's gonna be a little chewy and woody. So uh you don't you don't want them to turn this yellow. I just like to keep one yellow just for to show you guys the different texture color. Okay, so here are my lemon cucumber. Yay! Um, let me zoom. Let me go on to this side. This I, I believe I have a few more over here. I don't know if you can see them. Some over here. Some over here. And then I got like a big mama. That one's ready to be eating too. Eating. Yay! Nice. Very nice. Check that out, oh yeah, so good, yep, okay, so moving right along to my last ray bed for this year, I didn't grow too many plants this year because I'm pretty busy, yeah, I'm tied up with uh, the house thing, so I didn't have time to grow more variety of uh, vegetable. but uh, if you remember, I grew, from my previously video, I grew, uh, the carrot in the front, so I pull the carrot. I'm ready to uh, get the soil ready to put down more green bean. But in the back, I grew the long bean and the green bean. And uh, here's an update on the long bean. Yeah, they're long. See that? Ooh, yeah. Here are my long bean. Yep, they're super long. Let me see. Ah, here's two long bean, and there's a tiny one kind of stuck to it yeah it's pretty long I have to pretty much zoom the camera out so you guys can see the how long it go it's about two feet yeah ready to be eating I'm probably gonna go ahead and um, chop it up chop it up about mm, four or five inches long stir fry with the egg yummy yeah, scrambled egg with scrambled egg with long bean. Anybody want some? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Check that out. They grow pretty fast. Now that's summer. Yep, and here it is. There's some more. Uh oh, whoa, that was kind of scary. I thought it was a snake. Thought it was one of those green uh, garden snake, but it's not. It's my long bean. Woo. Yeah, check out my long bean. Yeah, super long. Very fun to grow. So different. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Okay, moving right along is the green bean. Yeah. Here we go. Here are some green bean. That are ready to be harvested. Hmm, I'm gonna have some green bean tonight. Yeah, here it is. Green bean, yay! There you go. So, just want to show you an update on my garden. Everything's doing pretty good. And um, thank you for watching my video. If you have any comment or question, uh, feel free to post down on the bottom for me. And here's a last look at my long bean. Yeah! Alrighty, have a beautiful day and happy Father Day!